I'm getting fire from French people. I'm getting fire from Polish people. They think I'm a traitor to France. They think I'm a traitor to Poland. British people don't like me because I'm Polish and British Muslims don't like me because I'm French, Polish and the wrong kind of doctor. Being new to Islam is not easy. You need to have a very tough skin. Unless you're rich or famous, you're a nobody. Most people will find you weird. A lot of people will just hate you. So where do I stand? Hello and welcome. My name is William and I am a researcher in sociology at the University of Warwick in the UK. And I have very complex identity. I was born in France. My parents are Polish. I embraced Islam in 2008 while being raised in Catholic faith. And in 2013, well, I moved to the UK, but my job is actually to understand people's identities. So what is my culture? What is my identity? Many British Muslims find me weird because I don't smoke shisha, because I don't dress in Louis Vuitton, because I don't like Lamborghinis, I don't like Dubai, and I've been rejected from jobs, I've been rejected from marriage, because I'm Polish, because I have a beard, but I don't want to be a problem for anyone. So I told them, look, I'm happy to change microwave sequence. I looked at all the people who were hired instead of me. I looked at the people who married the women I wanted to marry. It's all people who have this stereotypical profile. They only go to the gym, smoke shisha, wear designer clothes, rent out Lamborghinis, and don't really care about religion. I was thinking maybe I should become like them. Maybe I'll be accepted. Maybe I'll be hired by these charities. Maybe I'll eventually get married. But then I was told that I have the wrong parents. If my parents were South Asian, maybe they would have considered me for marriage. But how can you change your parents? I don't know, maybe Elon Musk has the technology. That's when I realized that no matter what you do, you will never be enough for people. No matter who you are, how much you change, there's always gonna be people who dislike you. You have to accept that you will be disliked by a large number of people and there is nothing we can do about it unless you want to live a lie. As long as you're not harming anyone and you're not making stupid decisions, accept, embrace who you are. No one can force you to change and only change if it makes you a better person. I prefer 19th century clothing to Louis Vuitton, Lahore to Dubai, Japanese cars to Lamborghinis. If in the eyes of anyone, it makes me an invalid person, so why should I bother to talking to these people? If you're fascinated by another culture, well, that's fine, as long as it's respectful. For Eid or when I go to Pakistan, I usually wear shawar kameez. I have learned how to cook uh, roti salan. I have learned how to cook chai. Not only because I like it, but also because my family-in-law uh, likes the way I cook. At home, um, I can make burgers, sourdough pizza. Some people, when you embrace Islam, they fear that you'll be losing your ancestral culture. Poland has a very special place in my heart. I believe that Islam is the continuation of Christianity, so Polish people hate me because they don't understand, but I don't care. I still speak the language and I want my kids to learn about Polish culture and Polish history. I want my kids to know the language and you know, it's about building bridges. I grew up in a family that didn't like migrants, that didn't like Muslims, despite being immigrants themselves. I know how these people think and these parts of my culture cannot be erased. I'm not proud or ashamed of it. This is just who I am. You can choose which part of your heritage you transmit. Well, my family is extremely individualistic. We don't talk that much to each other and that's normal. That's the case for many Eastern and Northern European families. But it doesn't mean this is something I want to transmit to my kids. There is cultural capital as strategic knowledge. I know how to code switch. I know how to change my accent. All this cultural knowledge will help people not getting hurt in the future. You can't control whether your kids will keep your culture or not. Look, my parents decided not to teach me Polish because they didn't want me to have a Polish accent at school. But still, when I grew up, 
I bought my own books and I asked my parents, please, now speak Polish with me. I want to learn the language. And I refer to French sociologist Edgar Morin. He argues that cultures are complex systems, meaning that they are constantly evolving, they are building each other, reshaping each other. It's something which is constantly evolving. You can't really control who gravitates around you, but let me tell you, you're gonna attract people who naturally share similar culture and most importantly, similar values. But more than the preservation of culture, I believe in the preservation of values that make this world a better place. Be comfortable with yourself. Filter out whatever is harmful and keep whatever nurtures you, resonates with you. And if you worry about what people will say, stay assured that your personality will to filter out naturally all the people who do not respect you and accept you for who you are and your values, maybe except on the internet. Et voilà les amis, c'est ça, l'amour du travail bien fait.